What's up everyone? Welcome back to the beginner breakdown series for King of Fighters 14. In this episode we're going to go over Mion. If you've never seen the beginner breakdown before, this video series is intended more for beginners or players who are just trying to learn the basics of a new character. And with that, let's get started. As always, let's start with far normals first. Here's far light punch, is a mid. It can be blocked both crouching or standing. Has really good range as you see. It starts up pretty quickly and you can also special cancel it. Because it's special cancelable, you can use this as like a whiff punisher. So it makes things like that a combo. You can also like combo into like this special move as well. And far light punch is also just a little bit plus on block. Far light kick is a mid. It can be blocked both crouching or standing. It's only a tiny bit negative on block. Has a very similar range to far light punch. Far heavy punch is a mid. It can be blocked both crouching or standing. It's plus on block. And it reaches pretty far and it's very quick for a, a, a heavy normal. Far Heavy Kick is a mid enemy block both crouching or standing. It's a tiny bit negative on block, it's very safe. She travels quite a distance, so you can. it's a really good poke because of that. Because of the style of Meon play where you're going to be using a lot of dive kicks to kind of frustrate opponents, they might just haphazardly run in, uh, try to run in on you and pressure you. That's when you can throw stuff like this out and they can just run right into it. It does have significant startup before it becomes active. We're going to be going over close normals next. Here's close light punch. That is a mid. You can block both crouching or standing. It's a tiny bit negative on block, and you can special cancel it. Close light kick is a low, so that can only be blocked crouching. It's even on block, and you can special cancel it. Close heavy punch is a mid. It can be blocked both crouching or standing. It's a bit negative on block, but it's not punishable. It does push back, and you can super and special cancel it. Close Heavy Kick is a mid, it can be blocked both crouching or standing, it's a little bit plus on block, and you can super and special cancel it. You probably won't be using Close Heavy Kick as much as Close Heavy Punch, because it has a lot of startup on it. Up next we got Crouching Normals, here's Crouching Light Punch, it is a mid, it can be blocked both crouching or standing, it's just a tiny bit plus on block, and you can chain up to 3 from point blank, and you can special cancel it. And we got Crouching Light Kick, that is a low, it can only be blocked crouching, has a very similar range to Crouching Light Punch. However, you cannot chain Crouching Light Kick. It is a little bit plus on block, and if you wanted to open up the opponent low and get like a combo off of it, you'll have to go into Crouching Light Punch afterwards. Crouching Heavy Punch is a very slow mid. It may block both crouching or standing. She moves forward a little bit. It's a bit negative on block. It does push back a lot, but you probably won't be using it since it's so slow. And it is super and special cancelable. Crouching Heavy Kick is her sweep. It can be blocked only low, and it goes really far. It's a little bit negative on block, but not really punishable negative because of the great range. So if you land at the tip, it does push back a bit. And you can super and special cancel it anyway to try to make it safer. For example, you can go into her uh, dive kicks from this. Something that can be very frustrating for low level players to begin with, or anybody who's not really used to fighting against this character, is you can cancel the sweep into like a forward dive kick, and um, as they're recovering from the sweep, you can cross them up or not, depending on the timing of your dive kick. So for example like that, I ended up on the other side. So if the opponent's not paying attention, you can end up on the other side and open them up really quick, low, into like a combo. And I did that right away, like as soon as the sweep landed, I canceled into the heavy kick version of the forward dive kick. And then I canceled that into the heavy kick and dive kick right away. But if you delay the dive kick a little bit, the heavy kick dive kick, same same inputs as I just mentioned, you just delay the heavy kick button in the air, you'll end up on the front side. It looks something like that. I'm going to go over her jumping normals next. Generally speaking, jumping light punch or jumping heavy kick are your good jumping buttons. You can get whatever you want off of them as long as you time it right. And both those buttons work as good short hop buttons or good jump in buttons in general. Jumping light kick is going to be your air to air button. It comes out pretty quick. So if you predict somebody's going to jump and you wanted to meet them in the air with it, you can jump up, neutral jump maybe, and then hit that. Then Mion's jumping blow up attack, which you can execute by hitting heavy punch and heavy kick while in the air. Looks like that. It is a st it's standard. It works. It has a good hitbox on it. So you can short hop with it and the opponent can be crouching and it won't whiff. It's plus on block like all the jumping. Now blow back attacks. Let's quickly go over command normal. She has one, it is forward and light kick. This right here, it has a lot of startup on it, and if it hits, it crumbles the opponent. 
you can't super or special cancel it, but the long crumple animation allows you to hit the opponent afterwards with something if you wanted to. Something like a really slow blowback attack, or you can go right into super. With that being said, you're probably not going to be hitting opponents with it because it has a long startup on it, and it's a mid, so you can block both crouching or standing. The opponent could uh, react in time and block that if they're running in, so you're really not going to catch people sleeping with it unless they, they're really bad at the game. It has good range on it. She moves forward a little bit, and it pushes back a lot. So even though it is a bit negative, you probably won't be getting it punished most of the time because of the large pushback. You probably won't be using this out at neutral, it's not too useful, she has better neutral tools. You can cancel into it from a, a different normal button and that makes it come out quicker, so you can use it as a combo tool. For example, stuff like that is possible. And you can only really combo into it from things, or cancel into it I should say, from anything with a lot of hits on it. If you try going from her light buttons, it has too much startup and it won't combo. And if you cancel into it, it becomes super and special cancelable. And it has a lot of hits done on it, so you can get really whatever special move you want off of it. You can also use it as part of max mode combos as well. If you decide to cancel it to it, it's only a block string off of anything with heavy hits done on it. So like close heavy punch, that's a true block string, but if you decide to do it off of like a light button, there is a gap there. And speaking of blocking, it is pretty negative on block, it becomes more negative if you cancel into it. But because you're probably canceling it from a heavy button, you have the added pushback on it, so it does push you back pretty far, making the punish a lot more difficult. And then her blowback attack, which you can execute by hitting heavy punch and heavy kick while on the ground, looks like this. It has good range on it, it goes really far, it pushes back a ton. It's uh, on top of it's only a little bit negative on block. And not only that, but you can super and special cancel it if you wanted to try to make it safer. You can also cancel it into one of her dive kicks, so you could get a combo off of it. It's a very quickly go over throws. Here's her fourth throw. It's not a hard knockdown, it sends the opponent full screen. Then her back throw is a hard knockdown, it lets you set up whatever you need to. Next up we're going to be going over her special moves. Her first one is core circle forward and punch. So here's a light punch version of it. It's the quickest one and it's four hits. The heavy punch one has more startup, it's more hits and more damage. And the EX one has the same startup as the heavy punch one and it does more damage, so it does the most damage. Because the light punch one is the quickest, you can combo into it from things with low hits done or high hits done. So off of like heavy buttons, it's very easy to combo into. As you see, you can get it off of low hits done buttons as well. The heavy punch version, you can only get off of things with high hits done. And it also knocks the opponent down as well, whereas the light punch version leaves them standing. The X version is exactly the same as the heavy punch version, whereas it has the same startup, so you can only get off of things with high hits done. You can super cancel both the light punch and heavy punch version of it, and they're both on the fourth hit. So the light punch version is only four hits, four hits, so you cancel it on the last one. And for heavy punch, you cancel on the fourth hit as well. So how safe are these moves? The light punch version of it is only a tiny bit negative on block, so you can commit to it, and if the opponent blocks it, you're fine. They, they really can't punish you for it. The heavy punch version, however, is very punishable. You can even land a blowback attack. The X version is punishable, but it has to be punished with like a really fast far normal. As you saw right there, that was far light punch. So as you see right there, on block, there is a gap there. I believe it's after the third hit, there's a gap there where the opponent gets pushed back too far and the next hit isn't a uh, part of the block string. You could even roll it as well, or even guard cancel roll if you wanted to spend a little bit of meter, because it has a long, uh, a lot of active frames. You can easily guard cancel roll, get past the opponent and punish. So the X version lets you get some stuff afterwards, like one big hit. So I did the that slide attack into and it canceled into super. You can go into raw super as well. And uh, what I just did works in the corner as well. You can also hit him with something simple like a well-timed heavy button. That works as well. So 
So that heavy button I mentioned earlier, you can also cancel that into her dive kick. And if you time it right, you can hit the opponent as soon as they land. That way they're forced to block it, and you can cancel that dive kick into another dive kick. Her easiest max mode combos are also pretty effective. You'll just be going into this, into the EX version of her slide attack. Next special move she has is Corsicle Back Plus Punch. Here's the light punch version of it. It has a lot of startup. And then the heavy punch version of it has a little bit more startup, but it does a little bit more damage. And then EX has about this has a little bit less startup than the heavy punch version of it. And it does the most damage. All versions of this special move can go over a low moves, but that's pretty situational and you'll probably have to have a hard read for that. So as you can tell, all these special moves have a lot of startup on them. And to make them useful, they made them really safe on block. So the light punch version of it is only a little bit negative on block. So you can't really get that punished. The heavy punch version of it, uh, it has a little bit more startup, like I said, but it's even on block. And the EX version is pretty much exactly the same as the light punch version in terms of how safe it is on block. So what that means is you could throw these out there and if the opponent is not paying attention, they're just running in. You could hit them with this and then send them flying backwards, which is useful because that gives you time to kind of start setting up her dive kicks and kind of being annoying in the neutral. If you land one of these, you can run up and then hit them with a sweep if you time it right, if you wanted to get like a little bit extra damage. And of course that sweep you can cancel into her dive kicks to continue more um, annoyances with her dive kicks. And just to reiterate a point that I made in the normals section, you can cancel her you can special cancel her sweep. So if you do land one of these and you run up sweep, you can run and then hit them with the sweep and then dive kick. And then you can end up on the front if you delay that heavy kick dive kick. Or if you cancel it right away, you can end up behind them if the you know the corner isn't behind them and screwing it up like it just did there. Like that. Because of the long startup, you can't really combo into these. They won't combo off of anything. You can also run up and get that slide off of the normal versions of this special move. The EX version keeps her in place so you probably won't be using that to stop opponents who are running in. And you really won't be comboing into it from her normals because it has a lot of startup on it. So even heavy hits some buttons won't make it combo. At low level I don't see the EX version of this being too useful but if you do happen to land it you do get like a lot of the same options as you do with the regular one. And you have a really, really easy climax uh, combo there. If you happen to land that and you have the bars to spend and you want to do a ton of damage because their climax pretty much goes full screen, you have enough time to hit the opponent. And there's nothing tricky about these special moves. They're all mid, so they can be blocked both crouching or standing. Next special move she has is forward, down, down, forward, plus kick. Here is the light kick version of it. It's two hits. has a bit of startup. It is a low. They're all going to be lows and it has pretty limited range for the first hit. The heavy kick version of it goes a little bit further forward for the first hit and it is also two hits and it does a little bit more damage. The EX version is the quickest and it has a little bit less range than the heavy kick version of it but more range than the light kick version of it. The light kick version and the heavy kick version both have the same amount of startup frames so you can combo into them from heavy uh, buttons or light buttons. So that was a light kick version and then the same thing will work off of the heavy kick version. So that was off of far light punch and then the heavy kick version will work as well. One thing to note is if you're using the light kick version to combo, it has a very limited range on that first step that she does. So if you, like for example, cancel her far light punch for max distance, it won't combo. The first attack will just whiff. You don't really have that problem as much with the heavy kick version of it because of the long range of it. So in general you'll probably be using the heavy kick version for combos if you happen to confirm into it. That way you get the extra damage and also the better range so it's easier to and more versatile to combo with. On block the light kick version of it is the safest. It's a bit negative on block. It is punishable. But it has to be like some sort of fast far normal or like a very fast super something that travels horizontally really quickly. And if you happen to use it in a block string, it pushes the opponent back further, which kind of uh, diminishes the amount of options you have to punish it. 
However, the heavy kick version and the EX version are both really unsafe on block. They're really easy to punish. And as you saw, the heavy kick version also, the second hit of it whiffed on a crouching opponent. The EX version also, the later hits will whiff on crouching opponents. And just to reiterate, all of these special moves are lows. So they start off low, you have to block them crouching. You can also super cancel these, and you have to super cancel the first hit. If you land the EX one, you can land a super after as well. You're not cancelling though, you're just linking the super at the end before the opponent hits the ground. You can also get other things mid-screen from the EX version of this move. Not a lot of easy options you can get mid-screen besides like a heavy button. And then pretty much the same thing applies in the corner. You can only really hit him with one big thing. Not a lot of special moves you can do that will hit. So this is probably going to be the bulk of the video. We're going to go over all of her glides next. Basically she has dive kicks in this game. And she can't just do the dive kick by itself. She has to do this hop in the air. Whether it's backwards or forwards. And then you can expect a dive kick after that. So the commands for these hops are core circle backs or core circle forwards. Depending on which direction you want to go. So core circle back if you want to move backwards. Core circle forward if you want to move forward. Correct? pretty intuitive and you're using kick either light kick or heavy kick so light kick will boost her into the air just a little bit so here's what it looks like backwards and then forwards and then if you use heavy kick it's a much longer or much uh, bigger boost so that's the heavy kick version of it and then heavy kick forward and while you're in the middle of this boost animation whichever one you choose you can hit any one of the four buttons and it will cause her to do a different dive kick so if you hit light punch during her boost upwards, you'll get a backwards diagonal dive kick. If you hit heavy punch during her boost, you'll get a diagonal forward dive kick. If you hit light kick during her boost, she'll just go straight downwards. And the dive kick you'll probably use the most is the heavy kick version of it. It has a pretty shallow angle and Mion is almost parallel to the ground during that. One thing to note is these boosts that you do, you can do up to two in a row and you can mix and match them however you want. And then out of the second one, you can do a dive kick. So while I said the heavy kick is the one you'll probably be using the most because it covers a lot of angles, that sh a lot of approach angles, the other one that you'll probably use the next most is the light kick version of it because it goes straight down. So you can fake out the opponent by making them think you're going to go in for a dive kick like that and you just come straight down and you're on the ground already and maybe they committed to something stupid like an uppercut and then you run in and punish them and then not only that but it can cross up as well it's very annoying to deal with like that was a cross up right there and here's another important rule that makes these dive kicks even better is if the opponent blocks a dive kick or gets hit by a dive kick you can immediately cancel that hit or block into another one of these boosts in the air And that's where Beyond gets kind of uh, annoying and tricky. That's where that's what makes her really unique in this game. So these dive kicks don't really do much damage at all, but they add up if the opponent isn't playing well or they don't know how to deal with this. They're just kind of like small bug bites, and then you just kind of retreat or you go back in, and the, uh, you keep the opponent guessing. The two main things that you probably want to do at low level with this special move is if it hits or blocks go in for another dive kick to frustrate them. Something like that and then you cancel that other one into a retreat or another offensive dive kick to frustrate them if they're not really doing anything. The other way to use these dive kicks as well that is an easy starting point is to land one dive kick and if they block it or hit them act like you're retreating like with the long version, the heavy kick version of it and then come back down with one of these. 
So if the opponent was running in, they're like, oh, he retreated, he backed off, let me run in, and then you catch him as they're running in. And then whether they block or get hit by that, you may have to make a decision again there. If you're going to retreat or if you're going to go offensively with your dive kicks. I would say that's the easiest starting point. Either use them for a very annoying poke, 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 or use it as like a fake out retreat and then poke them as they're coming in. Of course, you can just use it just to retreat completely and uh, reset the situation. Kind of like that. You just go straight down from full screen. And now you're on the ground and the opponent is full screen on the ground. And then maybe they'll run in and you can use one of her other special moves like that to catch the running in. Because uh, they're looking for, they're too busy looking for the dive kick that they might not see this. There are EX versions of these dive kicks. And you probably don't need to really worry about that too much. And if you EX boost and then hit a button afterwards, that dive kick becomes an EX. And if it lands, it hits the opponent and uh, sends them flying backwards. And that's off of all versions of the dive kick if it hits them. There is some landing recovery to these dive kicks if you happen to mess up your cancel. So you can punish them on block, but it's pretty difficult because if you're playing Meon correctly, your the block stun doesn't matter. You're canceling the hit on block or hit anyways to another dive kick, either offensively or defensively, you know, to retreat. So like the frame data almost kind of doesn't matter at that point. The only time you're going to be blocking one and punishing it is if the opponent or if you, you know, mess up your dive kick and then you, you know, you forgot to cancel it into another dive kick. <laughs> and just to reiterate the point, just watch Mian as she lands after this dive kick. I'm going to be holding back. So it took her a little, just a little bit to be able to walk backwards. So they do have landing recovery. And there's nothing tricky about these dive kicks. Even though they're airborne attacks, you can block them uh, both crouching or standing. So they are mids. All right, well, that took a while. Let's go over supers very quickly. She has a uh, core circle forward, then half circle back plus punch. Next super, she has this core circle forward twice plus kick. Their climax super is half circle back twice plus punch. If you're gonna be canceling a super into another super, you're probably gonna be going from the punch super into the kick super. And you wanna cancel on that last hit during the fire breath. And the same rules apply for the climax super if you wanted to cancel into that. Let me give you some quick combos to get you started with. From up close, you can go into this special move real easily, and that's safe on block. That's the light punch version of it. Of course, off of heavy buttons, you can get the heavy punch version of it, which does more damage. You can also go into her forward, down, down, forward special move, that one. If you wanted to complicate it just a little bit more, you can add in her command normal for more damage, and you can go into the other special move as well. And those two same special moves you can get from crouching as well. So I would start there if you're trying to do some easy, simple combos. Alright everybody, thanks for watching the Meon Beginner Breakdown video. As always, thank you for your patience in between episodes. And just a quick thing, if you wanted a good example of who to check out for uh, how to play this character, especially since she's very dive kick centric, it's very different from the characters I've covered, check out Reynald, R-E-Y-N-A-L-D. He plays this character a lot in tournament. He's really good, probably the best Meon that I've seen. Uh, some other players have picked her up as well, but uh, that's the one that I'm most familiar with. Check him out to see how he kind of places dive kicks, uh, both offensively and defensively. And if you want to know how to fight against the dive kicks and how to dismantle this character, you can check out Reynold vs. Shaohai. And with that, let's go to member select. So next episode is the episode I've been dreading is Team Mexico, Team Mexico. I'm going to start with Ramon. Regardless, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next one.